Congratulations and welcome. I'm Courtney, a financial educator with MSU Federal Credit Union. We have partnered with MSU to bring you financial education so that when you graduate, you will be both academically and financially successful. Finances are different for everyone, but one thing we all have in common is the ability to budget our money. Whether you're somebody who loves to save, maybe you're nervous to check your account because you're scared it might be negative, or you're somewhere in between, this information is for you. Budgeting is just a basic math equation. Income minus fixed expenses minus variable expenses equals your budget. Income can be as simple as parental support or money from a part-time job. Fixed expenses are gonna be the same bill every month and variable expenses are going to be a little bit harder to track. That's going to be maybe what you spend on entertainment or food. When you do your budgeting, you have three possible outcomes. Positive, negative, or even. If you're positive, congratulations. You are making more than you're spending. That gives you the freedom to maybe put a little bit more in savings, put it towards a specific goal you have, or maybe have a little bit of fun and treat yourself. If it's negative, that's okay. You have the ability right now to see where you're spending and how much you're making and make some changes. Same thing if it's even. You're not losing money, but you're also not able to save money for future you. What changes can you make? The good thing is now you know and you have the ability to do so. As far as budgeting in college, it can be kind of hard to plan. That's why savings is gonna be the biggest thing for you. Making sure that you have some money set aside can really help in those stressful situations to make sure that you can get the things you need, but also to set you up for fun. That savings is gonna help get you to those steps and help you being prepared. If you're just starting budgeting and savings, it can be really helpful to set a SMART goal. It's gonna be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-based. Instead of saying, I just want to travel next year, when do you want to take a trip? Where do you want to go? How much is it going to cost? And how much are you going to have to save per month? Maybe you don't have a specific savings goal, but you're just starting to budget. Still be specific. How much do you want to spend eating out on groceries and maybe grabbing coffee in the morning? Make sure that you are realistic as well. If you say you're only going to spend $10 a week eating out, how many times a week do you actually eat out? And then also make sure you're flexible with yourself. Your budget's going to change based on where you're at in life. As a few final tips, think about future you. Comparison shop. Think if it's a want or a need and maybe wait to buy a couple things. MSU FCU and Financial 4.0 are here to help you. If you're interested in learning more financial literacy topics, make sure to visit our MSU FCU Financial 4.0 website and mobile app and check for sessions in your neighborhood. Your professor might even be offering extra credit. We'll see you soon, thanks.